Hey guys, welcome back to another Surveying with Robert Tuesday's tip. So today, the plan is, I'm gonna show you how to set up an LDOT uh, network connection with Survey Pro, no less. So we're gonna set up the, uh, I'm gonna show you the IP address, the port, and the settings that you're gonna use to connect up to LDOT. So um, you guys hang with me. Uh, let's, uh, if you give me a minute, I'll get this all set up. In the meantime, why don't you guys watch this? Okay, guys. So uh, today I'm going to show you how to do the uh, how to connect up to the Aldot Coors Network. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to, uh, let's just go in and create a new job. How uh, about Orange Beach? Orange Beach. So, let's go to settings. Uh, north azimuth, north and east, next. I'm not going to use any control. I'm going to go next. I'm going to do United States, State Plain, Alabama West, 1983. And I'm going to use Geoid 18, the new Geoid. So I'm going to go next, finish. Okay, we know all that. So now, if you look on the right hand side, there's a little button there. It looks like a GPS unit. We're going to click on that. So you'll see there's some different settings in there. We've got manage instruments. We've got, um, we can switch to optical, like if we want to use a robot or something like that, we can. So I'm going to go to manage instruments. So I've already Bluetooth and paired up this R10. Um, if we go in, we look at the settings of the R10. Once it connects up Bluetooth, you'll see it's a network rover. You can see what our options are here, right? So to connect up the network, we need a rover network. So I'm gonna hit the little green checkbox. It's good. Now then, up here at the top on the right hand side it says networks. So I'm gonna add a network. So let's add a network. So I'm gonna call it. Uh, Aldot. So Aldot address. So we've got setup type, which you don't really have any choice, network rover or network base. Server type, some different choices here, automatic, intric, or direct IP. We don't have we're not using an intrip. We're uh, actually wide open just to IP address and port. You could probably use a direct IP but we're gonna let the software decide for us. So we're just gonna say automatic. So for the address, I'm going to put in 205.172.52.26. And our port, which is extremely important, is gonna be 10,005. So 10,005, what that means is that's the, the nearest station. So it's gonna connect me up to the nearest station. So um, once we're all good, we're not gonna do force anything. We don't have a username and password. Say so, okay. So that all looks good. Say so, okay. So now what we wanna do, we wanna go into start survey. And we're gonna say, if you look down here at the bottom, it says network LDOT. It's the only network I've got in here. We say R10, that's the receiver, that's what we set up. Um, I could go to manage networks right there and go back and look at the networks if I wanted to. So right now we're just gonna hit connect. We're gonna wait for it to do its thing. Okay, so we're waiting for corrections right now. So what we're gonna do, we've got R10 internal type uh, check antenna height and measure to mark. Type R10 internal. We're going to do setup. I'm going to say two meters. I'm going to say okay. 6.562. So now we're waiting for the base corrections to come in. I know it says fixed up there in the upper left hand corner, but we've got no radio. So let's just wait. We're not doing any post processing, we're not recording anything. Oh, we're not going to bottom of antenna mount. We're going to bottom of quick release as well. Be sure to check that. There we go. 
So uh, rover receiver is ready to set. Press next to continue. So let's hit next. Next, it takes us out to um, our base point. So our base is set on a new point in the job. So basically what happens is when you connect to the network, it's gonna pull the base station information back to your data collector. So instead of giving it this name, let's just call it number one. So, um, and you're not gonna change your base antenna when you're connecting to the network, you're just gonna let that come in the way it is. Hit finish. There we are, fixed position, looking good. Let's see where our base station's at. Uh, if we look, our vector length is 11.7 miles. We got 19 parts per million. That's how to connect up to the network. That's uh, uh, walk you all the way through Survey Pro. And there'll be more Survey Pro videos as we move along. But um, guys, I hope this helps you out. I really appreciate you guys watching. And as always, like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. God bless. I